half a year later, a Malibu resident is stepping up to help rebuild, literally. Yeah, CBS LA's Luz Delia Caballero introduces us to an architect who's using his skills to design stronger fire-hardened homes for his neighbors. Amid the sound of construction and the frames of homes being rebuilt, architect Abe Roy with Design Equity can't help but reflect on how far they've come. This, as it turns out, was one of the first houses to go down in the fires. Roy's home was one of the few that withstood last year's deadly Palisades fire, but he says that survival came with responsibility. It was perhaps spared for me to help rebuild the community. And so what might look like an ordinary build to most is in Roy's eyes a multi-layered defense system from the elimination of attics and crawl spaces to the placement of defensible landscaping he explains each choice is part of a broader fire hardening strategy one he hopes becomes the new normal in the canyons we approach it starting with prevention we don't have too many nooks and crannies we don't have places where embers can get trapped but it doesn't end there what if the fire gets dangerously close to the home? Then we switch to mitigation mode, starting with the outside shell. Roy's talking about a multi-layered stucco system. So you have the metal sheet, then you have the scratch coat, then you have the brown coat. And top of the brown coat, we are putting in a fire resistive coat, which can withstand up to about 2200 degree Fahrenheit. That'll give it at least two hour resistance. The roof is also fire hardened. What I'm looking at is what we call the cool roof. This is a triple layered roof, which is is designed not only to be non-combustible, but also to be self-extinguishing the fire. So if there is an ember cast, it'll actually douse out the ember. Adding this home even has a unique indoor and outdoor sprinkler system. Since this house has a swimming pool, we are going to make full use of that. So if and when the fire approaches, it's going to start sprinkling water, drawing from the swimming pool and not be dependent on city water or public utility. Roy is now working with dozens of families who lost their homes, helping them navigate designs, permits, and the emotional weight of rebuilding. If all goes well, I expect the family to move in around spring. And as Roy looks out toward a neighborhood still marked by concrete pads and charred soil, the grief is still there, but so is the will to rebuild. We are now firmly in the stage of reconstructing our lives and building smart so this never ever happens again. For Roy, rebuilding is more than just construction. It's a commitment to his community, a community that's starting over one fire-hardened home at a time. In Pacific Palisades, Luz Delia Caballero, CBS LA.